Good morning! Now we're going to do another Hardy-Weinberg equilibrium wherein you have no idea which of the population is a heterozygote individual. So I have here a problem on my old notes. So we have here. So how to compute for the genotype of a certain population using the Hardy-Weinberg rule without even knowing the heterozygote population. So example here is in a population of 1,000 hampshires, this is a breed of pig, 910 of them are belted, so they have white belts. Usually it's black pigs with white belts. And 90 of them have solid colors, so it's solid black. We have no idea of the frequency of the heterozygous genotype, which is capital letter H, or the homozygous dominant genotype, which is P because both genotypes look alike and they both have white belts. But if we assume Hardy-Weinberg equilibrium, then capital Q is equals to Q square. So we have a population of 1,000 Hampshire pigs. However, of the 1,000, 910 of them happen to be belted, having white belts in their bellies, and only 90 have solid black in color. Rule of thumb, usually animals that do possess the recessive genes often are in the minority. So with this one, the given itself on the problem is giving us clues on who or which one it is has the possessive traits. So since Q equals to Q squared, so we have 1,000. So we have, so Q is automatically the 90 individuals. So 90 So small letter Q, 90 out of 1,000. So that is, I have to do, still use the calculator. So we have 0 0.09. So this is your step one. So we're done with step one, we go to step two. Since again, we already have Q, and since capital letter Q is equals to Q squared, we have the value of Q, so in order for us to solve for capital Q, oh no. sorry, this is the this is capital Q so far. Sorry, so this is genotypic frequency. So in order for us to solve small letter Q, it's the other way around. So the square root of Q. So the square root of Q point. 0, 0.09 is point 0.3. That is step two. And then do you now we can solve for small letter P. If you can remember, P plus Q is equals to one. So this is the third step. In order for us to find letter P, it's 1 minus Q. In order for us to find small letter P. So 1 minus Q, so 1 minus 0.3. So P, small letter P is 0.7. That is step three. Now we go to step four. So we already have small letter P's value. So if you can remember the Hardy-Weinberg, P, big letter P is equals to the P square, small letter P square. So 0.7 square and that is 0 0.49. And we already have the value of capital letter P. 
So this is the fourth step. And then for the fifth step, H. Do you remember the value of H? Or the formula to solve H using the Hardy-Weinberg equilibrium? It's 2PQ. So we were going to solve. So 2 times the value of point P, which is uh, P, small letter P is 0.49, times the value of Q, which is, oh no, 0.7, sorry. 0.7 times 0.3 So this is point 0.21, so it is point 0.42. Now you really have to do the rechecking again, so rechecking. So P plus Q is equals to 1, so point 0.7 plus point. Three, that's one, that's correct. And then we have the P. Sorry, I'm going to P plus H plus Q is equals to one. So the value of P point forty nine plus point forty two plus point zero nine is equals to one. So we have 0 0.49 plus 0 0.42, so that's 0 0.91 plus 0 0.09, so we have 1 is to 1, and that is correct. Some of you might be asking, Doc, you really have to do this step by step, especially in this type of problem. Yes, you really have to do this step by step. Because once you miss a step, everything is wrong. So if you miss this one, this one would be wrong, this one would be wrong, this one would be wrong, and this one would be wrong. And always, always do your rechecking just to confirm your answers. If you do have questions, please do comment. And if you want more videos regarding this one or if you want videos regarding your notes or if you do have questions you can have it on your on the facebook group and if you and you will have a discussion over there if you want to this is just to um, maybe the next video we're going to discuss a bit regarding some of your questions most likely questions that you're not um, you're afraid to tell me regarding the first topics that we you have tackled. So until then, I'll see you later and take care.